Kyle uh, good afternoon my name is Mahesh and I'm a qualified chartered accountant somewhere down the line I thought of migrating to Canada I don't know what actually broke me but uh, all of a sudden I thought that could give me a good uh, opportunity over there and I started researching on it but as a whole as a single person I could not get much data what is required so then I have inquired many people like uh, many consultancies and many things like I have approached my near friends dear friends and they told like you can get a bunch of information or handful of information when you uh, trust someone so I had to take that call and I have joined Texas Review so that starts my journey so it was a memorable journey and uh, I had to say I have to share that there are many ups and downs in this so it starts from the ECA so I don't know like what actually my educational qualifications and uh, what credentials I'm going to get for that educational qualifications so I had to tell them like this is my background and uh, this is my job profile so they suggested me like this is the best thing what is going to happen like whether we going to be a primary applicant or a secondary applicant so they do basic uh, uh, background I can say so on that they will be evaluating your profile whether you have to be a primary or the secondary then that went on so I had to take my ECA bus and uh, my NOC codes and everything so coming to this point NOC we are almost worried about what actually NOC is now we are coming with the new NOC codes which is a five digit so nobody will be acquainted with that so I told them like this is my background and I am doing on this job role so you suggest me what actually NOC code is so they took the pain complete pain on that one and they have given me what actually best suits me so on that basis we have applied somewhere around in November 2020 we have given for the ECA like uh, PR application so from there the journey started so somewhere in down line in March 2021 I got a message from OINP so that was an astonishing I never expected that so it gave me some kind of boost that okay I can also get through this then I woke up and I gave full-fledged uh, thing on it so I have submitted all the documents I have gathered everything and here the major role played by Texas Review is how to submit because I don't know which sub which uh, website where when and how to make the payments and all so Texas Review was taking complete care of that so I had nothing to do just give the documents relax and they have done the rest so with that one with that uh, experience and everything like we went further so we have submitted somewhere around in June July somewhere there so we have given the OMP application so we got the OMP uh, nomination also luckily so from there we had to again struggle back so I was having some back, uh, issues in my NOC codes and also again I had to come from the scratch so I asked them like what actually NOC code is whether we are going to change or we have to go with this one so then they gave me a a uh, good response for that and they told like this is an NOC code which best suits you and on that basis we got the OINP and from there we have submitted the express entry profile and uh, due to COVID it was delayed but I can say it's hardly took somewhere around six months for me to complete this application uh, coming to the technicalities of Texas review why we have to prefer Texas review as uh, as a single person we cannot uh, gather all the information because they are the trained professionals and they have handful of information what actually have to be done and they know what next step is going to be also so that is the place like where uh, Mr. Sai Kumar who is the processing officer of my case has stepped in and he has taken complete control of that one and he was driving me very properly and with his help I could say uh, within no time like somewhere around uh, uh, January I have given my biometrics and by February I got my visa so now you can see me I'm holding a visa as of now I as a successful person so I suggest you uh, not only rely on this video or something but do your basic research then only you can come and you can 
take the services so that's what i have for the day to say and i wish you all the very best for your future uh, plans and if you are planning to come to canada you can contact me at any point of time thank you